In Italy, Fremont is offered with Fiat's 2-liter multi-jet diesel or Chrysler's Pentastar 3.6 gasoline 6. And we have, only with the base gasoline engine 2.4. We know how it works in conjunction with the 4-speed, automatic, on journey. A car with such a power unit accelerates thoughtfully. And with a 170 horsepower Fremont, it is quite possible to live. Indeed, in a couple of four, they matched a six-speed automatic. Gas to the floor, and after five seconds on the speedometer 70 km h. Further acceleration is lazy. Fremont can be buckled in manual mode, the floor selector swings left and right, conveniently. Manual dishonest, upon reaching the maximum speed, the box itself switches up. You can think of it as an analog of the sport mode in other cars. But the cutoff is still at around 6,500 RPM, the driver has a power reserve. However, with frequent rough acceleration, the engine empties the tank like a camel that has reached the lake. In general, for a week of operation in the combined cycle, Fremont showed a consumption of 12 liters per 100 kilometers. On the highway, it may well fit into 8 liters, but a provocative ride in third or fourth gears in manual mode will result in an increase in appetite up to 26 to 28 liters per hundred. And 16 to 18 liters come out of lingering traffic jams. Acceptable dynamics, a decent effort on the steering wheel. It could even be lighter at low speeds. This severity does not add any special information content. But anything is better than a cotton bagel on a pre-styling Dodge. However, journey on our test, although it swayed, literally floated over bumps. And the Europeanized chassis cannot boast such a comfortable ride. If the suspension levels out small defects, then on medium and large ones it shakes. Suspension perturbations get to the steering wheel, forcing you to correct the course. With an increase in speed, the blows weaken, it is better to pass the speed bump on the move. The machine handles the sharp edges of potholes or asphalt cuts pretty well. If a European accent is felt in the settings of the power unit and chassis, then the equipment is clearly overseas. There are four 12-volt sockets, on the front console, at each row of seats and in the trunk. Leather trim, a glass sunroof with an electric drive and a curtain, a three-zone climate, the standard equipment of the test machine for 1,439,000 rubles. A variety of seat layouts and an abundance of niches and devices for small things work on the image of the traveler. Pleased with the attention to detail, the front power windows work with one touch. Coasters, with rubber clamps in case of shaking. The headrests of the third row seats are hidden automatically when the backrest is folded down. And the long straps that you need to pull to put the backs back in place are equipped with Velcro so that they do not hang out unnecessarily. Six spotlights on the ceiling are equipped with adjustment in two directions. Probably, for demanding drivers, the all-wheel drive Dodge with the 280 horsepower B6 engine will be more attractive than Fiat. Passport acceleration is better. The maximum speed is higher, and it's more convenient in the snow. But Journey, retrofitted to the level of our Fremont, including the third row of seats, will be more expensive by 296,000 rubles. In my opinion, Fremont is perhaps the most correct Journey. It still has enough comfortable America, but there is also a bit of mischievous Italy. Small, but enough to give a new feel to a familiar car. The 2.4 engine at Fremont belongs to Chrysler's World Engine Series created as part of the Gemma Alliance, initially it was a joint venture of Chrysler, Mitsubishi Motors, and Hyundai, and now it is a wholly owned subsidiary of Chrysler. However, the original international design was later corrected by the Americans. There is nothing extraordinary about the device here, but it is worth mentioning continuously variable valve timing on the intake and exhaust, as well as additional valves to control the airflow in the intake tract. The Euro NCAP Association pitched Fremont in 2011. The car received a total of five stars, although not without question. Experts estimated the protection of adults at 83%, children, 82%, pedestrians, 50%. Some criticism from experts was caused by not the best protection of the chest and hips of the driver during a frontal impact. In this type of test, Fremont received 12.2 points, as well as the chest of the inhabitants during a side impact of the car on a pole, and the side impact of the movable cart was past great. But active head restraints provided the model with maximum protection against whiplash in a rear-end collision. 